So one of the many issues with American politics today is you look at one group of people who don't seem to recognize that the billionaire class, the one percenters, they, like many other classes in this country, are going to look out for themselves. I guess against the best interests of the poor and middle class, aka they're not your friends. I personally am highly skeptical about any billionaire just knowing what it takes to become a billionaire in the first place. I don't care about the ideology if they're left wing, right wing, doesn't matter. The fact that you're a billionaire, I'm already suspicious. But how do I communicate the need to be skeptical of people like this when, if I try to do so, they're automatically going to associate me with the American left wing who has extremists that are anti- Wealth. They have this disdain for wealth, this disdain, anyone that's a billionaire or a millionaire. So I wouldn't get taken seriously because I get lumped in with those guys. I mean, the idea of having a billionaire that's looking out for the little guy is just c categorically absurd. You don't get to be that wealthy taking much time to be concerned about such things. You get to be that wealthy having an extreme level of concern for your own self-interests. Is it impossible for a billionaire to be concerned for the little people? Of course not. Extremely unlikely, but of course not. So here's the basic logic to consider. The likelihood of one billionaire who really cares about regular people, very low. The likelihood of two or three, especially when they don't have a track record of community service or doing anything other than stuff that benefits their own interests, it's absurd. The type of billionaire who really cares about the little guy is the type of billionaire you never heard of. An extreme version of the millionaire next door. The billionaire that you see on TV all the time and all over social media, extremely unlikely they care about the little guy. So these are the type of people you want to keep far away from power. Unless, of course, you want to continue to suffer financially while they grow their wealth. You want a very tiny group of people to keep gobbling up resources and keep taking your money, right? Because that's what happens. A lot of the wealth at the top, it comes from the bottom. The people at the very top, they take, they take. You don't get to be a member of that club being very considerate for others. So one would have to expect that any of your endeavors has to be purely self-interested. But who is capable of making that argument to the millions of Americans who just don't get it? Especially those delusional in their idea that one day they're going to be just as wealthy as these people. So they want things to be as easy as it is for them now right? Don't tax them. Don't do any of that stuff because when I get there, crazy reality is these same people who are protecting the upper class because they want to join the upper class don't recognize that these guys are so greedy that the talk and complain about taxes is a lie. I have to work for a living. I do very well for myself, but I have to work for a living. I'm upper middle class. I think at my peak, I could have survived without work for maybe two years, right? So the reality is even getting to that level, upper middle class, taxes is not something that I concern myself with. Now I'm going through some things, but normally if things are going well for me, I'm not worried about how many taxes, how much taxes I got to pay at the end of the year. And taxes in general is just not something I think about, right? So it's kind of ridiculous to be concerned about overtaxing multimillionaires and, and billionaires. Trust me, they'll be all right. They will be all right as they've always been because they weren't always taking such a big part of the pie as they do now. And they did very well before and they will always do very well. I don't think there's any amount of taxing that is going to really be that much of a big deal. Now, if you're super greedy and it's never enough, and of course it's an issue, but should we really be wasting time worrying about super greedy people that already have too much and they don't want to share any of it, even though the way they got that wealthy was off of the backs of the poor and the middle class, directly and indirectly? I don't know, man. What are your thoughts? This is the Debate Me channel, the Debate Me comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be well.